In this video, we are going to install this new model Pulit on our local system and then we will play around with it. If you don't have the power to install the system locally, you can also use their Hugging Face demo and I will also show you later in the video. Before we get it installed, let me give you a quick overview of Pulit. Pulit is a tuning free ID customization method for text to image generation that is performant and highly editable. Using one or multiple initial images and a prompt, the model is capable of generating between one and four new images that integrate both the face of the image and the style of the prompt without further training needed. Pulit actually introduces both contrastive alignment loss and accurate ID loss, minimizing disruption to the original model and ensuring high ID fidelity while integrating the prompt. Pulit not only um, is a diffusion one, but also they, it comes in two modes. It comes in fidelity mode and extremely style mode. In most cases, the default fidelity mode should be fine. If you find that the generated results are not really stylized enough, as you can see on your screen, you can choose the extremely style mode. But as far as I have used their hugging face demo, I think the default fidelity mode is fine. But one word of caution is that sometime it errors out because it is running on zero, which is a free tier. So it all depends on the availability of GPUs on hugging face. So let's try to get it installed on our local system and then we will see how it performs. My local system is Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card of 16 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear the screen. One of the requirements I would highly suggest you should have before you install Pulit is to have Conda installed. So I already have Conda installed, which keeps everything separate and comes with a lot of things pre-installed. So I don't have to worry about it like virtual packages, CUDA, Glipsy, Linux and all that stuff. Okay, so let me clear the screen. Let's first clone that GitHub repo which I just showed you. So I'm just cloning this Pulit.git here. Well, it is done really quick. That is always good. Now CD to this Pulit directory. Let me quickly show you its contents. So it comes up with models and some of the example inputs which, which we will try to use. But before that, let's clear the screen and create our Conda environment so that we will keep everything separate and we are creating it on the basis of Python 3.10. Just press Y here and it is going to install all of it. That is done and let's activate Pulit and you can see that in the parenthesis Pulit is activated. Let's install all of the requirements from this repo in this virtual environment. I'm simply using pip install dash r requirements.txt. So let's wait for it to finish as this is the last step in the installation and then we will proceed further. So everything is installed eventually. It took around 10 minutes so you have to be patient about it. You can ignore above warnings. That is just my local system. So, so much is installed there. So these are all the steps for installation. Now in order to run Pulit and it will run in the Gradio demo, you can simply run this python app.py command. Now this is where if your GPU card doesn't sustain this uh, diffusion image to uh, text to image model, the Pulit, will, because it is quite heavy, then it might error out. In that case, you would have to upgrade your GPU card. So as I have just 16 GB, VRAM of GPU card, so I'm not sure if it would work on that, but anyway, we will try it out. And if it doesn't work here, we will go and check it out on the Hugging Face demo page. But if you have a powerful GPU card, and I would suggest at least um, over 22 or 20 GB VRAM, that should be okay for this one. And you just need to follow these steps and you should be good. So let me run it and then we will see if it starts the Gradio demo. It is downloading the model now. So let's wait for the model to get downloaded and hopefully it will fit on our GPU cards. Fingers crossed. And there are a lot of files to be downloaded. 
and make sure that you have at least 15 to 20 GB of hard disk space for this model and all the examples. There you go. Eventually it is running on my GPU. So congratulations. So you can access it on this URL on your public IP 7860. So let me quickly take you to my browser. This is my browser. As you can see, Pulid is running here. Now you can drag drop your image here. You can do additional one and then you can give your prompt and then you can give the negative prompt and all that stuff. So let me quickly do it. Let me give it my own image. And before that, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so that you can also read. So normally, as I said earlier, all you need to do is to just give this ID image main. So I'm just going to select one of my own image from my local system. So I'm just going to go with the JPG, this one, and then let's give it a prompt here. And the prompt is maybe I'll change it to something like portrait, flat, paper cut style, silk hood, clean cuts, paper, and all that stuff. And man, so let's, I'll just keep the uh, negative prompt is I have clicked on generate and it has given me error. So this is what I was saying that because if your GPU is not good enough, you might get this error. So let me generate it again. Oops. So that is the problem. So it is running, but of course it would need quite a lot of power for that. So maybe I will try with a smaller image to see if it works. I don't think so, but let's try it out. As I was trying, it crashed on me due to out of memory error. But anyway, now you know how to install it and run it. So, but you would need at least, a, you know, a GPU with more than 20 GB of VRAM, which I don't have, unfortunately. But what I can show you is that this hugging face demo. So if you go here, maybe I'll select the same image. Hopefully this is going to work on this one because you see it is running on zero, which is a free tier. I have done a separate video on it, but as what exactly that means. So this is the image. And then let me give the same prompt. Click on generate. Let's wait for it to finish on the right hand side. And if you see it is running uh, quite a good GPU, I guess. I'm not sure which GPU it is running. Yeah, it's a good GPU. Okay, anyway. There you go. So on the right hand side, it is generating something. It's a silk hood. So you see it is even on this one. Uh, hugging face one, it is very, very slow. But looks good as you can already see. So let's wait for these to load fully. So these are the resultant images. I think it looks, uh, the performance looks really good in terms of quality of results. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. I will drop the link to this repo in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.